Uh, hi, Dave. Thanks for joining us here today. Um, I think what we're going to do now is try and understand the whole concept of, of the Kotahi grip and the holding system and how it works. We've talked about the concept behind the grip. Uh, we've talked about the holding system and how that influences the way we move. So let's put that together now. Now, first of all, let's just understand that, that holding the Kotahi grip with this manner, with the palms up, and then of course, uh, we believe that that influences the way we move the body, okay? As opposed to holding a traditional putter, which is where the palms are facing each other, we believe that has another total chain reaction on the body once again. And we believe that the palms up reduces the amount of available mobility in the hands and arms. Therefore, the way we move the core body changes as well. Now, I'd like to give you an analogy of that. So let's look at a task. And of course, when we're putting, uh, the task is to hold a putt. And of course, we look at the mechanics that create that outcome. But let's give you an analogy of that. So um, I'm gonna show you here how the hands become a driver to create a chain reaction in the body, all right? So I'm gonna give you another task, and then we're gonna analyze that task. So in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to take a drink. Now, of course, the task is to take a drink. Uh, when I say go, I want you to go ahead and just make a motion. And when I say stop, I just want you to hold the motion for me. Right. So go ahead, take a drink. Okay, don't move from there. Now you can see here, Dave, how you've taken a step and you've leaned forward there. Now what we're doing here is we're showing you that the hand becomes a driver to create that reaction in the body. Why? Because you have to connect with the bottle to take a drink to actually achieve the task. Okay, so start again. Let's just show everybody that you can do the same thing again. So go ahead, take a drink and stop there, right there again. You can see the same things happen as a chain reaction in the body. Yeah. Okay, so just start again now. Now, again, the hand becomes the driver to create that chain reaction, and we believe the way we connect you to a putter has the same influence. Now, I can change that whole chain reaction in your body just by changing a small factor in the way we hold the, in the, way we hold the bottle. So, when you went to hold the bottle, you had your forefinger and thumb above your little finger. What I want you to do for me is hold the bottle with your little finger above your forefinger and thumb. So you ready to go again? Yep. Go ahead. Okay, hold it there. Now, can you see how your chest is now facing me? See how your foot and your whole body has actually moved totally yeah. different. Okay, try it one more time. Go ahead. Great stuff. You can see that's a big change, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And all we did was change the way you held it. Yeah. Go back and show us the normal hold again, as opposed to that way. See how the body's reacted differently yeah, again. That's right. Okay, so if I gave you a traditional putter with the flat thumb pad, that will influence you to have the palms together. And that gives you that full range of mobility. Just hinge up for me and hinge down. Give me the full range of that hinging. Now go from side to side. That's it. See the full range of that? Now go round and round for me. Now if I ask you to move that putter head, how far can you move it without moving your body? Try. Move the putter head side to side. See that? See how far you can move that? Mm. Okay. Now you just try that again with the Kotahi grip. You hold that the way you've been shown. So the palms up, palms up, just do it traditional for me. That's it. Okay, now try and give me the range of hinging again. See? See how that's reduced dramatically. Mm. Now go from side to side for me. Well done. Now try and go round and round. See, that's very, very small compared to the traditional hold. Now try to move the putter head from side to side. You can see it's a lot less, isn't it? Mm. So the influence now for the motion of that putter head is going to come more from the upper half of the body. See that? Mm. Now that's going to create an arc for the putter head. And because there's reduced mobility in the hands and arms, that means the putter face is more likely to stay perpendicular to the arc. So you can see the analogy of holding a bottle and the hand becoming a driver to create a chain reaction. That same influence is going to be the way we hold a putter as well. All right, thanks, Dave. I hope that was informative. Uh, we look forward to your comments, and uh, please let us know how we can help.